All right, guys, uh, Builder Rick here again. Uh, we are now cutting uh, some sheet metal that we're going to end up welding to the truss. We have to bend it and shape it. Uh, and this is going to be to um, connect the two containers together so that it doesn't leak. And uh, it's going to give it extra support. Here's our plasma cutter. We got the computer up there. Go ahead and cut it. Yeah, so we got to cut it to length here. Man, I love that stuff. Okay, so right now we're set up and we're going to cut out the sheet. Now, I want you to try to imagine somebody trying to drill these with a drill, lining them up. And there we go. So not only am I going to get my holes put in to weld them, but we're also going to start cutting lines. It's going to be nice. Are uh, you ready? Yeah. Look at that. That's amazing. Look at that. All right, so the reason why we had to cut this in sections is because that is our jet 50 inch uh, brake. So we're going to bend the sheet metal. So we cut these in 50 inch pieces and we needed 111 inches total. So after we bend them, we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to fold them into shape. Let's get a good look at this. So they're getting ready to bend that one inch mark. <clears throat> and that flange is so we can put a ridge cap on it. All right, now this one gets the overbend. And then they're going to put them together and weld them. <clears throat> and it's going to look like these. So this is our one inch flange. This is our bottom. And then the truss gets right in here and makes it so they can weld it. 